So you want to learn cybersecurity because you're sick and tired of living paycheck to paycheck for a job that's going nowhere. And I get it. I've been there, done that. So much doing of that. And if you've seen my last video, I wasted more or less about 10 years of my life working dead end jobs without really planning out my future, making money whatever way possible just to pay the bills. Well, I'm here to tell you that there's a way out if you just put in the work that I'm about to outline. And yes, this is yet another how I would start to learn cybersecurity if I could start all over again, but I've watched them all. And this one's different because I'm in it. You're wondering who I am? Well, I'm just a guy in a mask who spent years in retail work, years in blue collar work, years in IT work, and now years in cybersecurity work. I've done it all! And in my old age, I've had time to think about all the crap that I've done that set me back multiple years, and having experienced the same pains that most people have experienced while trying to switch careers. Enough talk. How would I learn cybersecurity if I had to start over in 2025 knowing nothing? But not just me, how would anyone, even those who can't learn technical concepts very easily? We're talking, I installed a video game on my computer and that's it level of knowledge. I clicked the button, it did something on my pooter, and now I can play my video games. An empty shell of a person who knows nothing. Let's call them Jon Snow. You know nothing, Jon Snow. I do know some things. John needs to know these four things before he stands a chance at landing a job in cybersecurity. The basics of how computers work, hardware, software, operating systems, and of course, the backbone of it all, networking. The basics of security principles. Why do we need to secure things and what policies, frameworks, and guidelines do we need to follow? The basics of blue teaming. Defense. How do we stop the bad guys from doing bad things to our precious assets? Our data, our trade secrets, our passwords. The basics of hacking. Offense, common attack mythologies that bad guys use, but not actually making the exploits, just understanding them. If John can just learn these four things in six months, he stands a good chance at doing pretty well in a junior entry-level security analyst or SOC analyst interview. Whether or not he actually gets that interview, is dependent on a multitude of factors. So before anyone says in the comments how it's impossible to land a job in cybersecurity without 10 years IT experience on your resume, shut up, old man. Times have changed, and that's not the case anymore. Because old Greg over in IT is no longer tech support and the security department wrapped into one. We've specialized and segregated the two into their own positions. Unless you still work for a 50-year-old mom and pop shop who refuses to invest in the security team. Anyways, it will likely take longer than six months, despite what you might have heard from weenies on YouTube saying it's a guaranteed job in six months or less. If you do this and you buy my course, it all depends on how much blood, sweat, and late night tears John is willing to put in. For some, it will take six months. For others, one year. For most, probably longer than that. But timelines aside, how do I gain the four pillars of knowledge needed to land that job? Now would be a good time to mention our sponsor. The first pillar of knowledge, Coursera. Basic IT and cybersecurity knowledge in the form of the most affordable entry-level courses you will find anywhere. With just the Google IT and Google cybersecurity courses, you'll gain knowledge that most people who use computers have no idea about. Now, I've heard all the naysayers complain about the quote-unquote overly basic certificates, but they are not taking into consideration that it's basic to them, not to someone who knows nothing. Jon Snow, it, it's for him. <laughs> Not you, rant's over. Now I've spent roughly $50,000 on college, with even the community college classes costing upwards of $1,000 per class, Coursera has a subscription-based model that gives you access to every course. That's like paying for unlimited classes in college with a monthly fee tacked on. Can you imagine how much they would charge if it was a monthly fee? Whew. Now for a limited time, they're having their New Year's promotion where you can finally stop making excuses and put that money that you've been saving for the new WoW expansion towards your future. $200 off their Coursera Plus annual subscription, making a year's worth of access to every single one of their courses just 199 bucks. That's $16.50 a month for all you monthly spenders, but a fraction of what you're paying for all your other subscriptions. Look what they need to mimic a fraction of our power. Think of this as yet another streaming subscription, except this stream can help you get out of the rat race and start working towards a career that allows you to finally put money aside towards your retirement, investments, a Lamborghini, whatever you want. It's time to start thinking about your future. But again, this is just the beginning of John's journey. This is but the first pillar. The second pillar brings to us security security principles in the form of CompTIA Security Plus. HR knows about it, the government loves to see it, and it's overall a very basic but comprehensive
comprehensive buzzword list of security principles. You can't get into an interview without having heard of the CIA triad, rarely brought up in security changes, but the principles behind it, the overarching point to it all, is to secure our stuff in an organized and universal way. And wouldn't you know it, you get a discount towards CompTIA Security Plus for completing the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate. Pillar number three, you gotta learn what tools are out there to defend networks, endpoints, websites, all of it. And again, we're aiming for affordability here, folks. We're not trying to break the bank when we're already living paycheck to paycheck as it is. This is when you'll want to complete a learning path. Try Hackme's SOC Level 1 learning path to be specific. You'll be introduced to security tools you've likely never touched before. And it's in a handholdy, super beginner friendly format. You literally have no excuses for it being too difficult. It's just time consuming. And you know what else is time consuming? Spending 10 years of your life doing nothing. I just had to remind y'all. And once you've completed that path, you'll want to move on to the fourth pillar, how offense works. More specifically though, furthering your knowledge of how bad guys attempt to break in and attempt to bypass security tools. We're not aiming for a job and penetration testing here, folks. We're just trying to harden our hacking mythology knowledge even more with TriHackMe's SOC Level 2 learning path and TCM Security's PSAA. They might rename this certificate again, but it's this one. Through both of these courses, you'll gain a deeper understanding of security analysts and SOC analysts investigation mythologies across multiple security tools. How do you investigate? But more importantly, what do you investigate and why? These what and whys are the hacker's artifacts that you need to be able to spot in investigations. You don't need to know how to create the exploits, how to find the vulnerabilities to exploit, just how to spot them and stop them. You'll notice that this is the path that I outlined in a previous video as the easiest path to take. And depending on where you are in life, it might be too basic and you might be able to handle more. So feel free to watch that video for additional guidance but for the rest of y'all, it's time to start learning. Links are down below. Stop making excuses for yourself, folks, and get going. Oh.